When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Thursday, June 6th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Peter Grant is the new interim superintendent at Brainerd Public Schools. School board members agreed to hire Grant on Tuesday after a meet and greet. He fielded questions about finances, student behaviors, union negotiations, and enrollment. Grant previously served as a superintendent in Owatonna. He is set to begin his year-long tenure in Brainerd on July 1st. Read what he had to say on various school district topics in my story in today's Dispatch E-Edition or online. Vacant, unmaintained buildings in Brainerd could soon cost the owners big money. City council members are considering a vacant building registry. This would require owners of certain vacant buildings to register them with a fee of $7,000. That fee could be waived if the property owner works with city staff to restore the building. Staffers say that residents have expressed a desire for well-maintained neighborhoods. I've got more on the issue in today's e-edition or at BrainerdDispatch.com. Brainerd has received more than two and a half inches of rain so far in June, which is well above average. Stormy weather that came through yesterday dropped trees on power lines and caused some outages, particularly in Cass County. Above average rainfall in May and June so far removed all drought designations for Crowing County and helped lake levels rise. On the downside, rainfall saturated the ground and increased the dangers of flooding. A healthy, hungry crop of mosquitoes also follows in the wake of the rain. Read more about the recent rainy weather and its impacts in today's Dispatch E-Edition. Do you have a favorite local restaurant, bakery, golf course, newspaper, home builder, resort, or nonprofit? The list goes on and on. If so, help the Dispatch recognize the best of the best by nominating them for the 2024 Best of the Brainerd Lakes Awards. Visit BrainerdDispatch.com slash Best of Brainerd Lakes to make nominations through June 16th. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. 20 years ago today, in 2004, the Dispatch reported that just an hour after being profiled on the TV show America's Most Wanted last night, The man accused in the murder of Erica Dahlquist was captured in Michigan. On a tip from a woman who saw the show, William Myers was arrested in the Detroit suburb of Birmingham. The Dahlquist family was surprised and very happy. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Weather for the Brainerd area today. Looking at overcast skies with temperatures in the mid-60s. Otherwise breezy conditions as well from the northwest. We'll be dropping down to the upper 40s for tonight. And then going into Friday, warming up nicely. Back in the mid-70s with plenty of sunshine. And that goes into Saturday as well. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Pointer. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support. And thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day... And for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow 